Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Five of Wands. This one is labeled the Five of Energy from Gil von Meissner for 78 Tarot Ecological. The only word I have on this deck for you at the moment is that they had to go with a new publisher because of the pandemic, but um, shipping will begin sometime soon. Okay, what a beer. We have a few things to talk about here today. Yesterday we had our super moon, full moon, total lunar eclipse at 5 degrees Sagittarius. How's all that going for you, right? The moon, of course, is still in Sagittarius until it moves into Capricorn very late today. We start off with an opposition between the moon and Venus. Now, we know that Venus is all about love and money. And the Five of Wands, let's just throw some words out there. Conflict, intention, strife, competition. And something tells me there's a little bit of agitation there with some relationships. There, there needs to be, if you don't want to see something happen with this, probably a need to avoid it, okay? Because it is the job of an eclipse to you know, show to you to highlight these things in relationships where there is this kind of tension, this five of wands feeling that's there. Next up, the moon will square Neptune. And, you know, Neptune, of course, is at home in Pisces right now. So this brings an increase in sensitivity, which can add to that tension because people's emotions are kind of exposed you know, raw, like nerves. And it, it, it just, you know, there's a lot of relationship stuff that's in this Five of Wands today that's saying that, you know, if you don't want there to be a major blow up or an argument, it, it's best not to, you know, I'm not saying to be mean to walk away from people or anything or to say, no, I can't see you right now but just kind of keep it on the down low a little bit. Just be quiet. And Neptune can kind of throw a, you know, a little bit of extra fog into things and perceptions can be off, right? This causes more conflict because if you don't perceive reality correctly, you know, people can start accusing one another. This is a card where when you look at it, this one looks fun a little bit, but it's more like people getting, you know, taking jabs at one another. So you want to do your best not to be one of those people. Then we have an opposition between the moon and Mercury. Let me tell you, people are not thinking straight today. They're not communicating straight. It's just like, there's a whole lot of, I should have stayed in bed going on here, I think, where, you know, it's better not to try to analyze or to even figure out what it is that's going on. Then we have a square between Venus and Neptune. I always find this one to be a little bit about uh, maybe some self-esteem, okay? Not feeling good enough. There, There is just a whole lot of reasons today not to be trying to push things on the relationship front, okay? This is a card of struggles, strife, tension, conflict. One way or another, you're gonna feel it. Even if it's only you, you're gonna go through this whole process about, you know, how you feel about yourself. And you may be a little down on yourself today. You might not feel comfortable when around others, overanalyzing relationships. There's just so many ways that this can go, but none of them are really very pretty. And I don't think that there is anything here to help you, you know, like to bring everyone together on the same page. You know, just think of it like a, a room full of politicians and no one can agree on anything. It just, you know, don't be a part of it. That's the only thing that I can suggest because it just is not setting itself up to be what you need to bring you know, peace to relationships or to attain what it is you're striving for in them. So, you know, we'll give that a rest 
and we'll talk about it another day and i'm sure things will be very very different but as i said for most of today you are still in that sagittarius full moon and you need to give it five days you need to give it to like the 31st before you kind of get away from the i'm going to say the message of the eclipse because eclipses have a way of showing you things about relationships that aren't working but it doesn't mean you have to you know make it worse on yourself you can recognize them today but you don't have to literally get into a fight over them so i want to thank you all very much for being here i'll see you here again tomorrow and as always have a great day